Hello Ryder, welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Engineering reports the drive system is the power now. Not I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Okay, well, just as long as it doesn't hurt. The only pain is that which life provides. As I've discovered, this can be a lesson in itself. <laughs> it's one I'd rather avoid. So where do we go from here? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. 
Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go.